If you've been to the Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown, New York recently, or you're going to visit soon, you're going to go to the gift shop. And when you do, you're going to see these two boxes. These are two of the oldest, if not the oldest, tabletop sports, cards and dice, baseball games. Each one features a very different system, but each is based on replicating individual player statistics within the context of their teams within a given season of Major League Baseball, such that when you replay maybe one team's schedule or an entire league schedule, and you use these players about the same way as they're used in real life, you should get very similar results. Now, you can replay, again, you can replay the entire Major League season. In Apple, you can go back and find seasons, dates of 1900s, okay? Very early baseball here. And how apropos that the Cathedral of Baseball in Cooperstown allows you to replicate the exploits of your Hall of Fame heroes with these very simple games. Again, very different systems, but pretty much any other baseball game, very many of them, let's say, are you know can trace their lineage, or at least their designers can trace their lineage to some exposure to these games. Now, you're going to see that each of these features individual player cards with a lot of numbers on them. Okay? Stratomatic allows you to find most play results right on the player's cards, whereas APA will allow you to use the player's card to refer to a results chart that gives you the outcomes of the play based on the situation. You know, runners on base, runners on first and third, etc. So just, just take a quick look at both of these games. We'll start with Stratomatic since it's closer to the camera. And again, this is a special edition featuring 279 Hall of Famer cards. We just picked these up in our tournament on April 1st. We held it in the Learning Center there. Now, Stratomatic, uh, it's three games in one, basic, advanced, super, advanced, which means you can take the rules uh, for each uh, version of that game and add more control to your managerial prowess, your managerial repertoire. Okay, so, and note that Stratomatic says for ages 10 to adult, APA says ages seven to adult. And okay, Stratomatic, it's very simple. Here are the uh, player cards. Yeah, they just uh, go, have to go in there and uh, separate them. And uh, you have that style, and you got uh, this style here, and you got uh, right here, you got Fred McGriff. We saw his uh, signed, uh, the signed uh, holder for his plaque to come to the hall. Very cool stuff. You go back to Minnie Minoso, you go Buck O'Neill, Jim Cott, Scott Rowland. Aha, uh -huh, there you go. See, very up to date. And on and on, you know, Gil Hodges. I mean, you know, the possibilities are endless how you can build your teams. There's your basic you know, play mat, all right? And your book of rules, okay? And all the rules of the basic, advanced, and super advanced are in this book. Nice index there. It's about, how many pages is it? It says, it's a, this is a 20-page document here, okay? And the good thing about the tabletop sports gaming community is that there are tons of tutorial videos out there, okay? You've got full game games being played. you got... Uh, a couple innings just to show certain methods. You can create a lot of your own rules with these games. Hall of Fame 2023, this kind of explains uh, uh, how the uh, game is created. Looks like some kind of designer's notes, essentially. It explains the game. Talk about normalizing the data because you got folks, uh, you know, uh, of course, you've got different eras of the sport of baseball or football. They make football games, too. And uh, it's just uh, what you got in the... Uh, set here you know just some of the uh pictures and the catches things like that what do you got here it looks a little daunting at first but if you're a numbers a numbers person and you really want to you know tuck into a game that you know makes you think gives you good decision making and really just allows you to summon your heroes in a heartbeat these games are fantastic, okay? And you learn you learn these just like any other game. Again, they might look a little much at first, but 
when you start using them, you will be amazed at the accuracy that you can achieve with these games. All right. And you get your score sheets. You usually get a few uh, as an example. And you can keep stats. So you don't have to keep stats. Uh, these are the dice. Uh, Stratomatic always includes rubber bands. I, I strongly advise you to not use these to hold your cards together by envelopes. And I will show you what those envelopes might look like. That is Stratomatic. That's what you're going to get if you buy that one. If you go the Apple route, and frankly, I think you should just try them both. Go ahead and try them both. It's not so cost prohibitive to do so. And you can see what version you like. Okay, Apple gives you the shaker and some markers for its playing board. These are what their cards look like, a little easier to hold. And again, as I said, when you roll the dice, you look on the result number here, and then you refer to a chart that comes in a book like this. Gives you some instructions uh, here, quick start guide and all that. And APA has quite a history. And you then, you know, if the bases are empty, you look for the result there. And... Uh, Runners on second, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, you have pitching, pitching grades. Uh, you have a uh, A, B, C, D, and you can imagine A the best, and down, downward there. And these certain numbers allow you, if you're, you know, great hitters are going to have better results when you look to the charts, and worse hitters are going to have worse results. And so you have to manage your lineups. Players can get injured if you're an as-played player. You're going to look at the uh, lineup for any particular game and use exactly that lineup, but you don't have to. Because all the players are carded, you can use the lineups as you wish and be a major league manager. Okay? Now, it's not a video game, obviously, but you don't have to crank up your CPU. You just kind of grab these cards, and there's a certain romance uh, to playing a cards and dice game. It's a little more tactical, certainly, and... Uh, you can play in candlelight. Uh, but uh, here's what you get with the APA game. That's the APA score sheet. And I, well, again, if you really get into these games, you're going to be joining a community of folks who um, are incredibly diligent, incredibly friendly. Uh, See, so APA gives you envelopes into which these cards fit team by team. The collectability aspect of these games is off the charts. This is just kind of a uh, nice piece of uh, protective uh, cardboard there. And there's the APA feel, okay? And you can just track. And it's amazing, as you get into these games, and they are quite addictive, you can roll a game of APA baseball in about 20 minutes, 30 to 40, depending. I've seen guys play these, the real pros. We've got players who've been playing this game since the 1950s, Okay. They attended that tournament. You can see some of the videos if you've never played these games. Um, it's just amazing how fast they are. And it's also amazing how you can modify these games to your tastes. Okay, so if you're going to the Baseball Hall of Fame, be sure to check out APA Baseball or Stratomatic Baseball. And when you buy one of these games, chances are someone in the gift shop is going to say, oh, have you tried this game or that game or the other game? A uh, gentleman uh, told me that he pre preferred Pursue the Pennant because, as I say, these games were foundational and many, many current game designers and players had some exposure to these systems and either maybe embraced them or you know, created their own approach. Brian Hafferkamp, for instance, is one great new designer who's got something called on-base baseball. He designs basketball games, so he's got a fresher approach. He's a, a younger designer. Then you've got many other companies. You've got Play with two A's, and you've got Fourth Street, and you've got PT Games, and you've got PC Games that uh, take these concepts into uh, you know a computer environment. Not necessarily with the uh, you know the the EA Sports type graphics, but uh, the real focus here is not on you know how good you are on your controller, but how good a manager you are, and how well you understand your players and their capabilities. Now, as you get into these games, you're going to learn how to read these cards in really quick fashion. You're going to say, this guy's got probably X amount of batting percentage or on-base percentage. Uh, in app of baseball, you read the uh, numbers, you roll 
the one red die and one white die, the in this case that would be red as a 24, you know, or if you roll it that way, that's a well, that would have been a 51, just, or yeah, you get the point that the red is tens, the uh, white die is singles, and you look it up and. We all want that 66 in APA baseball. Stratomatic, as I say, you look on the uh, player cards, by and large. Like I say, the collectability factors uh, are off the charts with these games because you will find, as you get into them, that there are many older versions of the game. Now, these games, again, are based on the you know, fundamental systems that emerged decades ago, but they've been highly refined, so they are fully contemporary. They've got new features. Let's just walk you through what uh, we've got here. So you see the backs, uh, Gil Hodges, Tony Oliva, and then the fronts over here. All right. Let's just see what else we got here. What kind of team would you put together? Chipper Jones, uh, let's see, Tim Raines went to my high school, Seminole High School, Sanford, Florida. Right, graduated a few dear years before I started attending. You know, this Derek Jeter. How, the, how about that? Jeter and Hain, Reigns on the same team, pretty cool. Oh gosh, who else we got here? Bagwell and uh, Mariana Rivera. Oh geez, Randy Johnson. They just uh, had his uh, photo exhibit there at the hall. Mr. Piazza. You see, see where we're going with this. You got, of course, Hank Aaron. You've got Negro League sets. You've got. Uh, Customizers who create their own sets for minor league teams, Japanese teams uh, exist out there. Smokey Joe Williams. And uh, I mean, it's really the field of dreams right on your tabletop, okay? You can even create your own cards once you kind of learn the system. You can card, uh, well, there's a, huh, that's not too bad. Willie Mays and Mickey Mantle and Warren Spawn and Robin Yount and Whitey Ford and Babe Ruth, you know. Just a few, just a few guys playing some ball, right? You get the, uh, you get the point. Raleigh Fingers, Don Drysdale, Sandy Koufax. You bring them to life, just like that. Bob Gibson, cards and dice, really simple stuff. Urge you to check these games out. And if you have any questions about great resources, you know there are plenty of them out there. But shoot us a note at Apple Football Club Original at gmail.com. Uh, we can put you in touch with some cool folks who really, really. You know, again, if you're a stats head, stats hound, you can do a lot of incredible work with either of these systems. You know, Apple has the, uh, it's one of 36 probabilities per, you know, dice roll. It's maybe it doesn't sound like a lot of granularity, but uh, you can, you'd be amazed at the results that you can achieve with either of these games. And once you start checking these out, you probably check out some others. So grab one, grab both. Let us know what you think. We're always eager to hear people's opinions. We're an unofficial fan site. Uh, you see our name, Apple Football Club. And uh, you know, we just like to foster games uh, for all the folks who are fans of particularly vintage golden era sports. That's what these games really allow you to capture. You know, I sat with my granddad or my dad at this game in the 70s, the 80s, geez, the 90s. <laughs> you know, that's a getting to be vintage to some folks. We'll check out, we'll put the links to each of these companies. Go and check out the number of season sets that are available. It will blow your mind. If you've read about, you know, the 1905 Christy Matheson or 1908, uh, Dave Gardner of Digital to Dice Podcast has been playing those two sets, for instance. Uh, you know, people do these long projects in the APA community. Roy Langans, who's 81 years old, has been playing a game of APA baseball every day since August 2000. And like I say, he's been playing since the 1950s, 1957. Check out our interview with him in the Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown. You'll see what kind of passion people have for these games. If you have a passion for Major League Baseball, you're going to have a passion for these games. And you're going to develop friendships that last a long, long time. APA, the APA community is so passionate that they have dozens of regional baseball tournaments every year. Uh, Chicago, they have the annual tournament in Georgia. Stratomatic, they have a league registry. Go check them out. I'll put the link to that as well. They've got a ton of football leagues. I'm sure, they got a ton of baseball leagues. I'm an APA person, so I know these folks much better. But, um, you know, people are starting their own leagues. Just grab four or five eight people and you have a draft league you can you know it's a keeper league where every year you buy the new season set and you you know draft and you build your own 
team, your old league, and uh, have at it. You know, it's really cool. So check them out. Like I said, let us know what you think. If there's anything we can help you with in terms of checking out these games or any other ones, let us know. Again, if you're new to this channel and new to this hobby, you know, we're here to help, and so many other folks are here to help. We'll help point you in the right direction. I'm excited for you. First step, one of these games, Cooperstown, check them out.